What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction. Back with some more live Duran Duran. And I'm back to react to this tune correctly. Which is to say, uh, if you saw it, it was up for like half a day, uh, and Adam pointed out to me that I had made a mistake. Basically, you know, one of my favorite Duran albums, I hesitate to say any one of them is my absolute favorite, but Midazolam continues to be one of my favorite. Um, and Be My Icon is a tune I enjoy. Admittedly, it's not my favorite on the album, but it is a tune I enjoy, along with most of the albums. So, um, I, for whatever reason, when I took the track from the live performance of Pleasure Island in Florida, 1997, I guess I just mislabeled it when I put it on in the folder to then transfer to my music computer. And I had it as Be My Idol, which, like, because Idol and Icon are different, I mean, I suppose there's some crossover in the semantics, but um, they're different enough that, like, I forgot. Like, I was just like, oh, so this isn't a tune I've heard before. Um, you know, like, because basically, you know, the, the last word was different. And here's the thing, um, you know, I'm doing a lot of different deep dives, I've been stressed the last week or two, and I think I just, like, in the moment, the the opening, it's not terribly different, um, as I've come to remember, um, but it's different enough that I didn't pick up that it was Be My Icon right away, so I'm still like, oh, so Be My Idol, I wonder who this is a cover of or something. And then it goes into the song, and in the album track, it has this, like, filtered as if it's coming through like a distorted message board or something. It has that kind of quality to it, whereas the the live performance here has more of a, you know, heavy guitar rocking type of feel to it. So bottom line, I got through the track and I still didn't realize that I had just heard Be My Icon and maybe it's because my brain was like framed with, okay, this is a, you know, this must be a cover or a tune that I don't know before. So yeah, bottom line, Adam pointed out like, oh, I think you just mislabeled the track, man, and that's exactly what happened. So apologies, mea culpa, and hey, I've been listening to Depeche Mode as long as any other group, and like, I've had a couple of those moments in the Depeche Deep Dive, uh, most notably with In My Room, which I just didn't remember when I was thinking about SoFad, so when I listened to it, I was like, oh, so this is a B-side? Like, it's like, no, and like a lot of people, it's like, they're, they think it's like their best track ever, so... Again, even groups I've known for much longer than Duran, occasionally stuff like that will happen, so mea culpa, but we're back to here Be My Icon with it properly framed, and again, now knowing that at least has a bit of sonic difference, enough so that, like, in the moment I didn't pick it up. It still has that, like, kinetic, syncopated opening, but like I said, it, it has a different quality to it. Here it's more of, like, a live sound, like, you know, rock kind of tune, whereas in the, on the album Medazzaland, it has this you know, filtered, like, through a um, slightly incomplete, like, message board or something. It just really has that, like, electronic filtered feel. So, in any case, let's listen to it at now knowing, for me, uh, what I'm listening to. This is Be My Icon by Duran Duran, live at Pleasure Island, 1997. See again with that... I should have known, but it's, it sounds different from that. Inside, all my friends. 
what I was hearing in the chorus and it's hilarious now because it's like it's so clearly the album track but again I'm gonna blame it on doing so many different deep dives and again partially the last week and a half or so I have been quite stressed so um, just in the moment like my brain is like okay so I'm assigning it to this and then once I assigned it that way I just couldn't hear it for what it was but it's hilarious because again I do think the intro is like different enough that I understand why at the outset it didn't immediately click, but you know, again, hearing it now, knowing what it was, it was like, oh, like how did I not recognize that? So, again, I suppose uh, this is not the last time it will happen. Um, as I said, even for groups that I've spent many more years um, listening to very intently, occasionally I, you know, get something confused in my head. So. Uh, hopefully it doesn't happen too often, but don't be surprised if that happens again. In any case, uh, shout out to Adam for bringing it to my attention as well as sharing this concert with us in the first place. Um, and yeah, there's a few more tunes. Um, not sure what the next step for be, will be after that. I know there's still at least one or two, I think, um, Simon tunes. I'll um, go, like Philip has made like a Simon specific folder available that I've dipped into a couple times. I'll make sure that there's nothing left in there. Um, 
but yeah, ultimately we will, and in fact, now I'm remembering there's one or two that I did because other people sent them to me and he was like, just letting you know, this is actually in the assignment folder too. So um, yeah, we'll go through anything that's left in that regard, maybe go through a few more um, live performances, but yeah, just looking forward to at some point getting to the second look series, which I'd like to do for Duran because again, having, yeah, I suppose Depeche Mode was like technically a deep dive that started a little bit earlier, but it was around the same time, and ultimately the Duran one, I think, became a bit more of like a group journey. Um, not to say that the Depeche Mode um, deep dive has, hasn't been, but <clears throat> I don't think it was quite on the same level. So it would be nice to go back and now listen to some of these tunes, hopefully remembering what they are um, from some of the albums, you know, like select tracks to go and hear again now with a bit more experience and knowledge. In any case, uh, once again, shout out to Duran, shout out to Adam, uh, again, both for his assistance and for his corrective to my occasionally misfiring brain. Uh, and yeah, let me know what you think of this performance. I'll see you next time. Peace.